in his negligee. Nina's body was in there. <laughs> Nina's brush. And Nina's powder puff. It's her. It's you. Oh. Oh, this is a big one. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. With, with Lena's puff in my hand. What is the matter with you? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Drink some water. Uh. I didn't mean to startle you, but... What are you doing in my dressing room? Right now, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> well, shall I call a doctor? No, he'll go away and then I'll leave. But, but what are you, why are you in here? Do you work here? Are you with NBC? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm with NBC. Well, what do you do? Uh, I'm an announcer. <laughs> Wait a minute, where you going? I will not stay in that house with this man no more. Lamont, can I sleep in your room? <laughs> sure, Mr. Glover, help yourself. Sure. Thank you. Now you did it. Now you went and did it. Esther gonna be in this house? Oh. oh. Esther gonna be here. Elizabeth, I'm coming, honey. I know I'm coming this time. I can see my tombstone. Fred Sanford lies here. 1908, 1975. Died from an overdose of ugly. How long you been with me now, Lamont? What do you mean, how long have I been with you? Since I was born. Has it been that long? <laughs> Come on. All this time in the junk business, and you still haven't developed an eye for junk. Well, I'll pick up what I can. Well, look at this. What is this? What's it look like? You must have found it in the alley. No, I bought it at Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Don't you know, Lamont, people put garbage in stuff like this, fill it up with garbage, and then throw it out in the alley. There's another thing you haven't developed. Is a nose for junk. Well, I'm not gonna go around smelling the stuff. See, when you find something like this, what you should do is step on it. And if it squishes, then you don't want it. All right, Papa, I'll just throw it away. No, no, wait a minute, don't throw it away. I just wanna give you a lesson in this business. A lesson in this business. Yes, yeah. now look at this here. Garbage. <laughs> Come here, open it up and see if the money's still in there. Look at that, Pop. Stacks of 20s, 50s, 100s. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't stand it. I ain't gonna make it. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. Rich. What's the matter with you? Them coffins, ain't they? Of course they're coffins, but they can't hurt you, Pop. Listen, come over here. Don't bother me. Would you come Don't over here? Don't touch me. I'm not doing anything. Would no. you just take it easy? I, listen, now, listen, listen. There's nobody in here. Listen. Anybody in there? No. Don't do that. <laughs> haven't, haven't you ever seen coffins before? Yeah, but not in my own backyard. Get them out of here. 
I paid twenty five dollars for these. I don't care what you paid for them. Get them out of here. Would you listen to me, Pop? Now we can make ourselves a nice little profit on these things. I bought them at an auction. Now nobody else would bid on. Them. Nobody would bid on them but an undertaker and a dummy. <laughs> now, you ain't no undertaker. <laughs> But you stop that and start thinking like a businessman. Now, I'm telling you, Pop, we can make 100% profit on these things. So what's wrong with them? I don't know. Maybe they last year's model. Easy. Hey, Pops, what it is. What it was. <laughs> right on. I see you stepping out tonight, huh? Well, I was stepping out, but after meeting you, it's more like stepping into something. <laughs> Jack, you one cold-blooded old dude. Hey, listen here. Yeah. Why are you always going out with my son? Lamont, that's my man. <laughs> your, your man? Yeah, Jack, my man, my main man. Your main man. Oh, look, we tight partners, man. Me and Lamont just like that. <laughs> Elizabeth, if you looking down on all this, honey, don't look. Talk about it anymore. Now, let's go in the kitchen and fix my lunch. That's what I came home for. Right? OK, OK. But you listen to me one day. I'm telling you, Pop, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. Now, Julio's a nice guy. He don't want no trouble. Julio? That his name? That's right. Julio Fuentes. Julio Fuentes. That don't sound like no name. That sound like something you get from drinking their water. <laughs> I, I had Fuentes once for three days. <laughs> you stop. Now, you're going to change your mind about Julio once you meet him. Oh, you think so? Well, I'll tell you this. I know him. And another thing they do is collect cats. Cats? What for? To make strings for the guitar. <laughs> Pop, just help me fix my lunch and I'll be happy, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, now that's your sandwich. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> That's only Chico. That's Julio's goat. He won't hurt you. Don't tell me. I know all about goats. And that's a killer goat. Look at him. Look at him. He's in that attack position. Don't go near him. Don't go near him. You tie your head off. Pop, Chico wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm not worried if you hurt a fly. I'm worried if you hurt an old man. It's a killer goat, huh? Look at this. Hello, Chico. And to tell you the truth, I'm surprised I've been around this long with his heart. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> now, you know, you've been complaining about your heart for as long as I can remember. Now, they say if you have three heart attacks, you'll die. Now, Pop, you done had at least 15. <laughs> hey, don't cork that. Let me have a little taste. No, now, this is for when we have company. Company? We ain't had no company since we've been here. Now, give me a little taste of that. How do you expect me to build a bar if you drink it all? I said no. Just one little taste. I said no. Now, get out of here. Uh-oh. Now you've done it. You really got me upset. This is a bad one. Oh. Is it a tight feeling across the chest? Yes. Pain in the back and left shoulder? Yes. A little dizziness kind of sick to your stomach? Yes. I guess you have a number 16 then. Come on out here and help me unload this truck. Do you think if I really stuck with it and applied myself that I might become an actor? Oh, Lamont, it's a very tough business. You know, I mean, it's, it's one thing doing it like we're doing as a hobby, but to depend on it for a living, oh, I don't know. I, I got the talent. I mean, you said so yourself. Yeah, you do. And I'm tall enough. I'm intelligent. I'm good looking. You're modest. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You want to get started? Come, Desdemona. I have but an hour of love of worldly matters to spend with thee. We must obey the time. Oh, very good, my lord. Very hey, good. of course that's very good. That's because I'm talented, and I'm sharp, and I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you, Bubba? 
gotta be quiet with him. I know we out here think we're spying on him. But we are spying on him. No, we not. We just want to find out who the mystery woman is. I bet it's that Jackie Warnsby. It better not be. She just married Al Hughes' nephew last week. That explains why she's the mystery woman. <laughs> Weepest thou for him to my face? Oh, banish me, my lord, but kill me not. Down, strumpet. Being done, there is no pause. <laughs> but while I say one prayer... It's too late. Oh, Lamont. Hey, Lamont, Lamont. Huh? Wait a minute. You're supposed to be choking me. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm not fragile. I won't break. Well, I mean, don't actually strangle me, but act as though you might. All right, let's try it again. Whenever you're ready, my lord. <laughs> See what they're doing in there, friend? Will you be quiet, Bubba? Be quiet. I was cruel and yet merciful. I did not want you in your night cutting in soul. What's wrong? What's wrong? What did you see? This is the big one. Hey, Pop, did you all have a nice time? Yeah, we had a fine time. We went down to the Chinese theater where they got their stars, footprints, and the cement. Yeah, and my footprint was the same size as Joan Crawford's. <laughs> and guess who my feet fit? Boss Karloff. No. <laughs> Rudolph Valentino. No kidding. <laughs> That's right. I got the feet of the sheep. All right. <laughs> Say, what's that wine for? Well, the son of the sheik has got a little announcement to make. You have? What is it? You ready? Uh-huh. Betty Jean and I are getting married. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where's Betty Jean? Upstairs? Betty Jean. Come on, honey. Oh, oh son. Oh, That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. See, what made you change your mind about Betty Jean? Well, Pop, I got to thinking about, you know, about what you said. And if you want me to get married, I'll get married. I can't believe it. Well, out of respect to you, of course, to uh, make a father that I respect happy. Well, I'm the happiest father in the world. I'm proud of you. Hey, let's drink to our future happiness, Pop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just a little toast here. All right, first to the bride. To the bride. All right. <sighs> to the groom. To the groom. All right. To the grandparents. To the grandparents. Yeah. To our happy life in St. Louis. To our happy life. <laughs> St. Louis? Did I hear you say St. Louis? That's right, Pop. Betty Jean and I are going to move to St. Louis and start a little family of Sanfords. By the time you come to visit us, Pop, you'll have 10 grandchildren. But what about me? What's going to happen to me? Well, I, I don't know, Pop. I guess... I guess you'll have to sell the place and move into one of those old folks' homes. Oh, I feel a bad one coming home. Hey, what's the matter, huh? What's the matter with you? I thought this is what you wanted, for me to marry Betty Jean. Yeah, but... But, but see, what? Now, Betty Jean and I are gonna live in our own little enchanted cottage in St. Louis. But see, I don't want you to leave me. See, I won't make it through the wedding. You hear that, Elizabeth? <laughs> I'm coming to join you, honey. With a glass of ripple in my hand. <laughs> Would you look at Goldstein's window? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's right. The bullet from that rifle went right through Goldstein's window. Oh, uh, some kid could have threw a brick through that window. Or maybe it was a meteor. That's what it was. A meteor came down from Venus or someplace and crashed through Goldstein's window and landed in his kitchen. <laughs> no, Pop, I think you shot a hole through Goldstein's window. Hey, wait a minute. What if Goldstein was in there and you... Don't say that. Don't even think it. In the first place, if the bullet did go through his window, it didn't have enough power in it to kill a man. And in the second place, 
We don't even know if Goldstein was in the room. And in third place, I think it's about time for both of us to get the hell out of town. So wait a minute, Pop. Now I'm worried, Goldstein never leaves that house. The only time he ever leaves that room is to come over here and look at TV. Well, well maybe the bullet didn't hit him. If that bullet didn't hit him, he'd be out in the street right now screaming bloody murder. Murder, don't say that. <laughs> And you had to have an argument with him. What'd you have an argument with him for? The neighbors probably heard you, Pop. They'll say that you gunned him down. Stop it. If he did get shot, you know it was an accident. You believe that? Yeah, I believe it and you believe it, but will a jury believe it? A jury? What are you talking about? I'm talking about a shooting, Pop, and you did it. Pop, you shot a man. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a big one. Is that Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. Guilty. Guilty. Fred, now you're speaking about the woman I love. I am? Yes. I love this woman with all my heart and all my mind and all my soul. Good. Well, you be all right as long as you don't use your eyes. <laughs> Watch it, sucker. <laughs> you getting on my nerve. It would take Muhammad Ali, Rosie Greer, with an assist from King Kong to get me on any part of you. <laughs> that did it. That's right. Oh. 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 This is it. Woodrow. I got the two big ones. One in my head and one in my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm coming, honey. Have a heart and a head man ready. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. What have I done? Woodrow, what must we do? Wipe off all the fingerprints and get the heck out of here. <laughs> no, we got to save this sinner. Even the Lord lowest creature deserves pity. All right, I, I, I'll call the doctor. Even this heathen deserved to live. Start to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> I'd rather wipe the fingerprints off. 